It's your boy Jay. Sitting here in the house right now, doing a little special on my um, Fire TV stick that I got from my boy Reese, who I will ta be tagging in this video. Special thanks to Reese for hooking me up for the 4K Fire TV stick. But what I wanted to talk to you about is I got video games hooked up on the 4K Fire TV stick. That's my Fire TV stick. It's a little dark right here. Can't really see it, but get a little. Yeah, it's kind of dark right here, but it's my 4K Fire TV stick. And I got it hooked up to this OTG adapter right here, as you can see. That right there, the LexR is where the, most of the video games are coming from. It's also got a mouse pad hooked on the back of it. And it's powered to the plug down here. I also got it linked to my computer to where I can uh, load video games straight off the desktop here. So my desktop, which is right here in front of my computer here, in front of my TV. So let's, let's show you that we can load some games on here. All right, let's go. The fire stick controller. I'm gonna scroll down. And we're gonna go to Retro Arch right here. I've downloaded this Retro Arch. This is more up to date one here. And yeah, load content. <laughs> now we can play Nintendo. Show you all the games that we can play on here. That's uh, we can play. That would be Famicom, this system there. Um, that is um, the Game Boy Advanced. Scroll over. Famicom, this system. Try a couple games here. This is from Jap Japan. This is the first, like the first Nintendo on a disc system that they did not release here in America. So I got the disc system from, you know, Famicom or Nintendo, which you see up the Nintendo Family Computer Disc System. They didn't release this in the U.S. They kept that strictly in Japan. Now we got Game Boy Advance, as you can see. Regular Game Boy. Let's scroll to some little art on the game, see so we can find some video games with some little art on it. They usually have a little art on them, but uh, let's see. There it is. The art that we got the regular Nintendo. Plus, there's more games on here than that. What you see, I got plenty of games. I play all of them. Then we got Super Nintendo, as you can see. I got Sega Master System. We got the regular Sega Genesis. Yeah, I guess that's yeah, pretty much it. Game Gear, we do have Game Gear games on here that we can play Game Gear. I didn't load the Game Gear on here, but yeah, it's actually on here. But anyway, let's let's go to some games here. We're going to go right here where it says Load Core. Let's go down where it says Load Core here. Okay, I'm going to load a core. We're going to start with the Game Boy Color here. Just to let you know we can play video games on here. Then we're going to go down and say load content. Bam. Now I have two choices to load from. I can start right here where it says the storage emulated zero there. Or I can go to storage which is that uh, that um, junk drive that's going to connect it to the um, fire stick here. Now this here is connected to my computer. So I'll just pull up something from off the computer here. Let's get the Game Boy games in here. Game Boy. I don't think they're putting Game Boy games in here. Let's see Game Boy ROMs. Game Boy. Let's see if I can find any. I didn't load any in here, so we'll go back. But we will go down to my storage. We'll go where the A292 at. That's where that there. I can scroll down here to where it says Nintendo Game Boy. Bam. I can just find some Games to load in here from the Game Boy. Now let's do, uh, let's look for, I'll just try some anything. I'm gonna see if I can find <coughs> Tetris or something. Find Tetris. 
Let's right, see if I can scroll up and find just find something. Okay, that's Tetris. That's that right there, World USA. Just use that one. And then we're gonna where it says load archive. Click the and that is the emulator that we're gonna be using. The Game Boy Color emulator. And there it is. Just put that on there. Tetris 2. Of course, you know. And yeah, the buttons actually work, so get the screen on the buttons. Just to let you see. Pressing the button. And to back out of that, I'll just hit the pause play button on the controller here. Pause play. Take the joystick down and go to close content. And that's just the Game Boy. I'll back out of that one. I'm going to load another core here. And we're going to go to the Game Boy Advance. Okay, we'll go down to load content. Uh, we'll go straight down to my storage. Once again, we'll go to storage. Go to that folder. We'll go right down here where it says Game Boy Advanced. Game Boy Advanced games. Let's see what I can find here to play on here for Game Boy Advance. I mean, I got a bunch of stuff on here too. I mean, it's a lot of video games on this thing. I mean, lots of it. Like every damn near every game and. US and Japan, all the games that's on this thing, so let's scroll something to scroll up to. Let's see, for some reason I'm just in a mood for Tetris for some reason. I mean I could just pick any game, but I'll just try. Uh let's see. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tiny Toon Adventures, Tiger Woods Golf. There's a Tetris game right there. I just seen it. Tetris Worlds. All right, let's click on that. All right, go down to load archive, and there you have it. It's loading it. So we uh, just press the button. Press the start. I know it works. So yeah, we got Game Boy Advance game to work on here. I'm just pausing it. And I'm going to back out of this guy once again. And we'll go down to close content. Alrighty. Then we'll back out of that. Go down and scroll back up to low core. Then we'll do a Nintendo game. See, on this one, I could actually play two different systems. I could play the disc system games on here, and I could play the regular Nintendo games on here. Now, for the disc system games, I had to um, put the uh, disc system. Um, there was a a, um, a file that goes into the uh, Famicom um, and, and into the um, the Retro Arch folder system folder in order to play the disc system games on here so I'm gonna click on the NES Nestopia then I'm gonna scroll down and click load content this time we'll go to this right here and I'll scroll down into the um, Nintendo ROMs folder NES then I'll just click Mario Brothers 2 just to let you know that it's Super Mario Brothers 2 click it and and it works. Press the start. Select Mario just to show you it works. Maybe I had to cut the room. cut the room light out. You can probably get a better view in here with the room light off. Let's see. See what the picture looks like with the room light off. Can you get a uh, still look dark? Yeah, it's still a little dark even with the light off, so I'm gonna turn the light back on. Okay, that's the Nintendo games right there. That's Super Mario Bros. 2. Of course, you know, it works. Of 
course, you know that Nintendo games work. Let's see. So we'll pause that. Close the content. Alright, we're gonna back up, load the core again. We're gonna load the Famicom disk system this time. Scroll down, load core, go to load content. Then this time I'm gonna go down to my storage folder here. Down into my junk drive. Then I'm gonna look at my Nintendo Famicom. Now this should be interesting. That Mario Brothers 2, I'm gonna show you exactly where that Super Mario Brothers 2 came from. This is called Doki Doki Panic here. This is that's the no which one of that one. I guess it's the first one here. But that quick load. And that's the Nintendo Famicom disc system. This is, was made strictly in Japan. They never released it here in America. Yeah, I had to um, hit it twice in that uh, side B. Well, there's an arrow, so wait. Well, this game you gotta flip this game for some reason. Let's just uh, come out of this one. Let's yes, let's look for another one. Let's try another one. Let's do uh, close that content. Let's back up. We'll load that core again, and I'll find another game that we don't have to flip it. Because the disc systems you had, you do have to flip the disc system games on there. It is kind of complicated trying to flip them. And we'll go back into it again. And then I'm going to scroll down into my storage folder one more time. And we'll go back to that folder. I'll get a game that worked. That, you know, back into the Nintendo Famicom uh, folder again. And I'm going to look for, let's try Super Mario Brothers 2. Japan, the uh, Japanese version. Let's see what the Super Japanese version of Super Mario Brothers 2 look like. That's the Super Mario Brothers 2 Japan Japanese version. This one is extremely hard. This is Super Mario Brothers 1, but it's extremely hard. Now it's loading up. Give it a minute. I just wanted to put another game in here that actually worked. Yeah, this game is hard. That's This is Super Mario Bros. 2 on the Nintendo Famicom system. But yeah, that this one is extremely hard here. Trust me, this is the Japanese version here of Super Mario Bros. 2. This is extremely hard. So, we're going to come out of that. We're gonna close content and we're gonna back out of there, load the core. This time we're gonna do uh the Sega Genesis one. I just know oh, matter of fact, let's do Super Nintendo. I gotta look, I gotta put Super Nintendo on here. I didn't put it on here. But that'll be easy. Download the core. Let's go to download the core. And we'll just go straight down. This is where you can download all the emulators for all the video games. This right here will show you where to get all the games at. Like the emulators, so you can play the games. I'm going to download a Super Nintendo core here. I'm going to do, uh, um, we're going to do, um, now, um, let's try this one. 2002, 2005, 2010. Let's load this one here. And that core has been loaded. Back up. Load the core. Now we got the Super Nintendo on here. Let's click that button. Let's load content. And of course I can go to any folder with this one. I'll try this folder 
here. I'm going to try my uh, emulated zero folder here. Because I do have a couple of Super Nintendo games that I loaded into this one. So we're going to scroll down to the ROMs SNES. And we'll do... Um, let's do Super Mario All-Stars. Alright, click it on Super Mario All-Stars and voila! Just to let you know it works. So, yeah. Just to let you know it works. So, yeah, this is Super Mario Brothers Gang. I've already played it just to test it out. Just go on the stage and see just test it out. So you know it does work. Alright, we'll pause that. And we're gonna go down to close the content. And then we'll back up. We're gonna load the core again. Then we'll do this the last, we'll do all the Sega Genesis. We'll do the um Sega Genesis. See, you can play um, the Master System, Game Gear, and Sega Genesis all on this one. On this Genesis Plus one here, you click that. We'll load uh, content. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go down to my emulated. What's the name here? And I'm going to scroll down to, to my Sega ROMs here because I got a special game in here this is called knuckles and tails this is sonic the hedgehog 3 and knuckles and i'm gonna load that up as you can see we'll load that up and we already got two chaos emeralds with knuckles already oh why did i do that And of course, now, now this is a special hack here. When I move, and here comes Tails. See, this is a special ROM hack here because you normally don't play with Tails with Knuckles. Knuckles usually play by himself, but this is a special ROM hack to let you know that I can play, I can even play special ROM hacks on, even on the Fire Stick. So, let's pause it. That's the Sega Genesis that you've seen now. Now we're going to load a Game Gear game on here. Let's go back at the top here. What did I go back? Okay, we're going to close that content. Take a screenshot. It didn't even take a screenshot. What am I taking screenshots for? Close content. It's not mean to take a damn screenshot. All right, let's back up. Load core. Let's go back down to the Sega. Okay, let's load the content. This time I'll go to my storage folder for this one. Because we just did a Sega Genesis game. Now we're going to do a, a Sega Master System. For all the old people who know what Master System is. There we go. We'll do Sega. That's the Game Gear. We'll do Master System here. And I'll scroll and do find something. Else. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what. We'll find something to play on Master System. Um, let's scroll down. Let's put Alex Kidd or something like that. Let's scroll up and do Alex Kidd or something. All right, let's try Alex Kidd. Then you're gonna scroll down where it says load archive. You hit the load archive button. And there we go. We can play the Sega Master System games. All right, we got Alex Kidd loaded up. And yeah, this works too. So, Sega Master System games can be loaded on here as well. We can pause it. Of course, we're going to go out of it. This time, we're going to close the content this time and not take screenshots. All right, back up.
load the core one more time and we're gonna look for a game gear game scroll down let's do game gear okay let's do low content we go down to my storage folder which is connected to the fire stick go down to that folder there and then we're going to look for game gear games sega game gear Bang. all right let's do let's find something to put up here on sega game Gear. let's try a sonic game or something Sonic spin ball. Uh, let's just try Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's just find something. Okay. We'll try that one. That's a beta. Alright, that's the Sonic the Hedgehog game I want. Scroll down to. Come on, come on. Don't get all blurry on me now. There we go. Load. Sorry about the low volume on the video on the TV. I don't know why I don't have the volume up. Try to turn the volume up. Sorry about that, people. works as well so we can play so yeah that works as well so and there you have it people we got all of these different games system I can add more on here if I want to play Atari, I can play Nintendo 64, I can play PlayStation, I can do 32X. I mean, there's so many to choose from on here that I can play on this thing. So we'll quit the Retro Arch. We'll quit it now. Come on, add it back to my Fire Stick. But now, as y'all can see, that my Fire TV Stick, I can play all kinds of game systems on this Fire TV Stick. And they play so they play without lag and whatever, you know. And like I said, I have my computer here hooked up to the um to this uh what's the name here? I got my computer hooked up to it. So anytime I want to get games off the, the the desktop here, I got it um the IP address from the um Fire Stick down to the desktop here so anytime I want to get into the uh, rooms files I mean the files are here to play the games I can get on my desktop and play games off here but you see that um on here I got this in to where I can play video games now for the Famicom disk system this is a little tricky here I have to go down to um let's see let's see where I might go to Go to my home here. My internal storage here. And where it says retro arch here, you go down to where it says system and you put that disk uh system dot rom in here. That's how you play the uh Famicom disk system games because without that you can't play the disk system games with the uh Nintendo emulator. So you definitely need that in the ROMs to play the ROMs on here. And I need to also install it on my cell phone, too, because I can play it on this phone that I'm recording with, too. I have all the video games on here, too. So when I'm not at the house, I mean, when I'm not at the house, I can play these video games as well. So, you know. But, but that's it for today, people. Just to let you guys know that, yes, you, you can play, you know, the old video games, you know, 
on the fire stick in them. See, these are two joysticks I got pair. I got had to put them in uh, order so I know which one is which. But you know, of course, I know the black one is the first one and the white one is for player two. You know, that's the joystick that I got hooked. I mean, the the, the remote that comes with the fire stick. I also have a keyboard that goes with it too. So I can, you know, use my keyboard to move some stuff around on my keyboard. So shout out to my boy Reese for, you know, providing me with this fire stick. I also got another Bluetooth joystick here. This is a Steel Series, which I got paired to this phone. So whenever I want to play video games on this cell phone, this joystick is already Bluetooth paired to the phone. So, but yeah. But shout out to my boy Reese. Like I said, I'm going to be tagging him in this video here. You know, for providing me with the fire stick. You know, and all the awesome features he got hooked up on here for me. I can watch movies, watch live TV. I can watch all the pay-per-view events and everything. You know, thanks to my boy Reese, you know. So if you need a fire TV stick... Hit my boy Reese up at Maurice Omega Beach. That's his name. Like I said, I'll tag him in this video. And you can hit him up. And, um, you know, he'll, uh, he'll get you right. So you holler at him for a fire TV stick and he's going to get you right, man. Other than that, guys, that's all I got to say to y'all, man. Thanks for watching and listening and being patient with me you know, this damn long. So, peace.